and familia. Hello, friends and family. I welcome you all to original Mama Betty YouTube channel. Um, this time for the competition, we've been given this um, ingredient to make a recipe out of it. But before we start, I want to take the opportunity to thank all my friends and family, all originators, for all those who voted, to, voted for me. I made it this far because of you. I want to say thank you and God bless you wherever you are. But don't forget to vote for me on this recipe. Well, let's see what we can make with this ingredient that we were given. Today I'll be sharing some amazing recipes with you. One of them will be my homemade veggie broth. We're going to be using this broth in my classic brown gravy. We'll also be making my favorite meatballs. You cannot miss this. We also have my seasoned buttered egg noodles. The easiest, easiest way to make a pasta. So easy. Finally, we have my sauteed julienne veggies. Hope you will enjoy it. My first recipe to share with you with this composition is my homemade veggie broth. This is so easy to make at home. The ingredients you need are one whole onion, um, two spring onions, two carrots, and then we're gonna use our herbs, which will be our rosemary, sage, oregano, and parsley. Also gonna add, also gonna add OMB spice chicken and her jollof and a shito. So we wanna make it a little spice, spicy. I'm also gonna add garlic, two small medium of garlic. I'm gonna add ginger, I'm gonna add parsley, and then I'm also gonna add fennel and anise. I'm substituting the fennel and anise for my celery since we were not provided celery. Also, I'll add the um, so, which is, um, I'm gonna call it so, the accounts call it quintia, but the, and then the, in English is called uh, Negro pepper. I'm also gonna add that at the last, I almost forgot about it, so I added it at the last minute. And we, I'm gonna combine all of this ingredient and then put it on the stove and let it boil, and then we strain it, and then we use it for any of your, like you can use it for soups, stews, or anything. Hmm. When it finished cooking, you let it cool and then you strain it and then you store it. It can be stored in your fridge or in your freezer. Also on the menu today is my sweet and spicy meatballs. This meatball mm, is so juicy and easy to make at home. My eggs is in water because I forgot to take it out of the fridge. So in order to get your egg warm, you put it in a warm water, like 110, less than two minutes, your egg will be ready to use. So the ingredients are the ground beef that we were given. So I added ginger, I grated some onion, I have the parsley, I have my um, garlic, I have um, green, pe um, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and these are my herbs. I have my oregano, my rosemary, and my spring onions. So these are our ingredients. And I'm gonna add OMB, um, shito, OMB, chicken, spice, and... Oh, I forgot to say, I added chili peppers. I added four chili peppers. That will give it the spice that we want in our meatballs. It will take it to the whole new level. And I, we cannot do without OMB spice in this house. Ekoyepa. My hands are clean, so I'm going to use it to massage the meat so all the ingredients you know can marry. <laughs> they can chill, so they can you know marinate. So I can, and then I also put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes before pan frying it. The honey and the chilies will give it that sweet and a spicy taste. Mmm, aha yumiamo. The fresh herbs and OMB spices. Mmm. I'm gonna mold it into mini um, balls. You can make it any shape you want. You can make it as big as you want. This lovely recipe was inspired by original Mahabeti's meatball. 
I'm gonna pan fry it until it's brown on each side and then I'm gonna garnish it and it can be served. You can use this for your meatballs. Uh, OMB has an amazing meatball stew over there. You can also use it as a patty, as a breakfast uh, sausage patty and also go well with anything too. You can eat it like that. Enjoy, wishing you a happy, happy cooking. All the best. Today, I'm also going to share with you my classic brown gravy. Mm, you have to give it a try. We'll be adding our veggie broth to it to take it to a next level. These are our ingredients. We have flour. Flour, first you have to like put it on the stove a little bit to fry it a little bit to take out all the floury um, smell out of it. Then I added OMB chicken um, coating to it, two tablespoons of each, and I mixed it together. Yeah, so our ingredients are the onion, spring onion, parsley, shito, um, my herbs, oregano, thyme, basil, and then spring onion. I'm using the, the skillet that we use for our meatballs so we can have all the flavor. I did not want to throw away all the flavor. So I just added the garlic and then the ginger, and then I'm adding the flour and the OMB fish, I mean, I'm sorry, OMB chicken coating to it. And then I'm going to next, I'll add my onions because I like the feel of the onions when I'm eating it. So I like to put that one, bring that one a little bit after the flour. Yeah, I am going to add my one fourth cup of milk and then I'm going to let it simmer and then later I'll simmer for a little bit and I'll add my veggie broth that I made earlier to it. So the whole flavor, it will, you know, marinate it and take the gravy to a whole new level. It tastes so good. You, you please give it a try. You will really enjoy it. You can enjoy this gravy with mashed potatoes, with rice, with, I mean, anything you can think of, you can. Then I'm adding my OMB spice shito and then my OMB spice chicken. Yes, we love OMB products in this house. Ah, mamo she die kuya. Bi kuya pa ye keka keka. Chayo. Hmm. Hi mamo. Hmm hmm hmm. Hi mam. Nice bag no ko ka ho no. Ooh. Hi mam. After I finish cooking for like 3 minutes, I'm going to add my meatballs to it. Presenting to you my classic brown gravy. I hope you give it a try. Thank you all so, so much. God bless you all. Bye. So our vegetables of the day will be julienne, which is a French cut, uh, French cut style of vegetables, um, which means that I'm going to be cutting the vegetables in the, to look like a match, like a match, which in Ghana we say matches, to look like a matches. So I'm going to t try and cut it very thin sizes. So we'll add it to our pasta and our brown gravy. So I'm just, it's just, the ingredients will be carrots, onions, and green pepper, red pepper. And I'm gonna add OMB shito and OMB grill to it to give it some extra flavor to it. When I finish cutting it, I'm gonna saute it, use butter to saute it for two to three minutes, nothing more than that, because you want it crunchy. I added OMB's um, grill and OMB shito and then salt and pepper, that's it. And you are done. You have your a nice, healthy um, vegetables for your lunch or your dinner. Enjoy. So today, one of the recipes I'll be sharing with you is my homemade egg noodles pasta. So today we're going to be doing two different types, the farfalle and the fettuccine. We only need four ingredients for this recipe, all-purpose flour, two eggs, olive oil, and salt. That's all you need. So I'm going to uh, pour my all-purpose flour on my work surface, and then I'm going to make a well in the flour. I'm going to add the eggs and then my olive oil, and then I'm going to use um, a, a fork to wix it or you can use a wix or your hand it 
If your dough is too dry, you can add water a bit, a little at a time to give you the right texture. Or if your dough is too um, wet, you can add a little bit of flour until you have the right texture. I'm going to divide the dough into two. I'm going to use one for the farfalle and the other one for the uh, fettuccine. The farfalle, I'm going to use my hand to roll the dough. I'm going to use my rolling pin. You have to keep flouring the work surface and the, and the dough to keep it from sticking. When it sticks, uh -uh, it's not pretty. We're going to just roll it out till least you can see the color of your skin through it, of uh, your palm through it. I cut it two, I think it's 2.5 inches for the um, thickness. So here I'm just shaping it into a bow tie form. So you just take it, the piece, you fold it, and then you press the middle to give you the shape of a tie, a bow tie. That's all the idea is. It's so easy, just, or you can just put it down and then pinch it in the middle. And then you have yourself a bow tie. <laughs> A bow tie pasta. <laughs> Please do not forget to roll your dough thin. If you roll it thick after you cook it, it's going to be really thick and you don't want that. You want it to roll your dough thin so when you are cutting it and when it's cooked, it will look nice and presentable. So there you have it. I'm going to um, use the machine for my fettuccine. It's so easy when you have the pasta machine. It's so easy. I use the, my pasta machine for making my OMB chips. It's easier to, it rolls it nice, nicely for you. You don't have to do any work and you just roll it and it cuts everything. See, this right here can be your Ghana chips. <laughs> Also, as I said, you can refrigerate it for three days and freeze it for two months. So here we are, adding our oil to the boiling water. I'm going to add the chicken, OMB spice, herbs and spice chicken season to my water because I want the pasta to be flavorful, to add more extra flavor to it. In my sauce, so to make it extra, you know, flavorful. Since the pasta is fresh, we, go to, we are only going to cook it for two to three minutes, tops. Not yeah, here you have it. Now it's ready. It's ready, ready, ready. See how fresh it is? It, it tastes so good. I can't wait for you to try it. Please try it and bring it on OMB Trials on Facebook. That's where we all share original Mama Betty's recipe at. Thank you. I hope you give this a try. This is a fettuccine. Same thing. Two to three minutes. It should be ready and out. Okay, I hope you give this a try and I'm wishing you a happy cooking. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please do not forget to vote for me. Thank you. I want to thank you for watching my video. God bless you and don't forget to believe in yourself. Bye. I was here for me chia chia mwini na ewo bebi ya hubi ya hubi se nyami ya domo mohoye na dedikai me da mwini na asi ewo supporter mwede ma ye mano akensi ye se se de finance nuni ye dulo nitu wede ya mesre wa se bo mwade ya se video sine ba ube share no wa like no wa share no fi wejo omu commenta omu kanya omu so omu akuma ebe to omu ye mi ni mse enye izi sa odi kamera besi we ni mse diye nyame ni mdiye kakro diya che omu ni adofo beche